Time to look more towards the Ravens Browns game, four o'clock kickoff tomorrow. Um, NFL Network predictions on this game, and it's it's kind of interesting. So um, they have four of the ten predict a, a Browns victory, um, and you see most of them think it's going to be a pretty close game. In fact, all of them think it's it's a pretty close game. I would not be surprised in the slightest to see the Browns win this. It's going to come down to can that run defense show up. Um, because the Ravens, they haven't been able to throw the ball, but doesn't matter who the quarterback is, he's pretty quick, pretty elusive, and they've been able to run the ball really effectively. Well, and you're, you're playing the dealer's choice defense. It's whatever you want to do. You know, it's going to be on the table for you. Um, but I tell you what, four out of the ten, you know, picking the Browns, and they're playing a backup quarterback. But this also goes to show, like, the Browns' history facing backup quarterbacks isn't all that great, so I, I don't know. I don't. I, I definitely think it's on the table to be won. You know, the the Ravens aren't world beaters right now, um, and they're facing a little bit of an issue on, uh, offensively. Their defense brings it though, and the addition of Roquan Smith and they already have Patrick Queen. They're going to be difficult to run against. They're physical cornerback, and they they'll get after you. And you know, in the the uh, pass rush game, so this is a very formidable defense coming to town. And with their struggles in offense meeting the Browns' defense, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. That could be a wash. But uh, I expect a low-scoring game somewhere in the low 20s should be close. And uh, hopefully the Browns can edge them out, you know, something like 23-20. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the one thing that – the reason I say um, I think the Ravens might win this, they've won six of their last seven – they find a way to win close games, and, and this year the Browns team has found a way to lose close games. Those things don't generally change late in the year. No, the Browns don't just lose, and they give them away. Um, and the Ravens are used to taking victory. And especially, you have to understand, when Justin Tucker gets off the bus, he's in field goal range. You know, so if it comes down to it and they're anywhere near midfield, you know, they're, they're always going to have that shot. So that's something you have to prepare for. Um, but at some point, the Browns have to become that team that goes out, and, you know, like in 2020, they won a ton of single score games. In 2021, it went the other way. And this year, it stayed going the other way. Like, they have to get that back. That's what it comes down to in the NFL. Most of these games come down to three or four plays. And the team that makes them, you know, usually gets to walk off the field and holding their head high with a W. And, and you know, right now, the Browns are the team that go to the locker room depressed because they didn't make those one or two plays that, really could have swung a game so we'll see if they can you know make one or two plays this sun or saturday actually and uh see if they can you know go in the offseason beating the ravens